Hello my Aquariuses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course we are in Libra season and of course I am Debbie. Now I'm reading for September 29th, the full moon through October 5th. I've done an overview, Justice Wins, getting a lot of that Justice card and even in my private reading. So let's see what this all means. Okay, keep our vibrations very, very high. Now, um, besides my overview video, I always remind you these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay, we are about to go, that Pluto thing, you know, this is, a, this is why I keep bringing it up because Pluto is about to go into Aquarius. Um, you know, Pluto is the 10th, 10th, 11th of October, so I think, yeah, 10, 11, so October 11th. Pluto will be going direct. So what's happening is it's starting to station itself. It's starting to put its spotlight. It's a slow-moving planet, but it's starting, you know, because, and so it's going to start like, oh, this way, and then start doing this. So it is starting to station itself, and when I think of planets stationing themselves, I think of them all like a big spotlight. Like, what can I do now? What can I, you know, what good can I bring about? What mischief can I bring about? So we've got some interesting stuff with Pluto. Um, I think there's some trining going on in October or something with Scorpio, something to do in Scorpio, maybe one of the moons, I don't know. So I do think that, um, you know, Pluto transformation, um, this is in its last leg of the Capricorn run, okay? And Capricorn is earth energy, so this is our money, job, career. But then it goes into Aquarius, and it goes back in 2024 for a minute, back into Capricorn. But it'll go into Aquarius, which will be actually the transformation of our thoughts, our ideas, of our plans, okay? So it's kind of like it's getting, it's really kind, it's really getting into this space where it means major business. So, and then you take over. Then it comes in to just, just, I'm not going to say disrupt our ideas, but just bring about new ideas. I do feel like my Aquarius is, you are going to be stronger than you think in the development or the partnering with this, with Pluto. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on. And I hope that made sense to someone. But anyway, Higher power, Holy Spirit, what would you like to say to our Aquariuses? What would you like to say to our Aquariuses? Here we go. One, two, and three. Nothing is reversed. Let's try to get it out of the glare. First card. The five of air. So five has change. Change, change, change. Positive, negative. Air is your sign. It is also Libra, which we are in a lot of Libra energy right now. It's also Gemini. Thought processes, think, you know, thinking things through, making your plans, hearing news. There's change, there's change ahead. And it may not necessarily be a positively received change, but I don't really, I, I feel like it's a very necessary change, okay? Now, one thing about the Five of Swords and the Five of Air that I'm always telling you about is watch out for Sneaky Snake. There's always someone that wants to try to um, create mischief. So when I see the Five of Air, there's a mischief maker here. There's a Sneaky Snake here, okay? So tr somebody that might be trying to create havoc in your own plan. So be very careful. Be very aware, okay? It doesn't mean you have to do anything against that person or not, but you might be able to avoid the situation, okay? Just be aware of it. And, you know, this is where you want to be very wise, and you just want to have, you just want to be, what is it, wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove, okay? So we have the five again, change, change, change. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be bad change, but in the, in the face of it, it feels like it's not necessarily the change you've been wanting, okay? So, an unwise choice, learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. All right. Like I said, it, it's more, it, it's kind of like it's, you know, the, you know, my way or the highway. I'm feeling like it might be more the highway, okay? Here we go. Next card. The page of water, a loving energy here, a caring energy here. 
So there is, you know, there is this sense of leaving the situation. There is a caring energy, a caring, in, in fact, many ways, it could be a caring partnership that comes into your life. Now, that could be, you know, that could be in your work. That could be in your um, home. It could even be romantic or intimate. So the page's underlying energy is Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, money, job, career. But water is your romantic, your intuitive, your creative, okay, your flowing energy. So there's something that even though, even though this might have a change, you're going to be able to take whatever this change is. You might have a partner that helps you deal with this change, and you're going to kind of see that, sil you know, that silver lining, okay? You're going to see, you're going to see how to um, work your way through the change. The page is um, very enthusiastic, very young energy, very happy energy, very get-going energy. The page can also be a messenger. So you could be getting a message about something that's going to be very positive for you. It may feel harsh, but it winds up being something so much better than what you thought. You know, so the page is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And that is one thing, too, with the air energy going on. You know, don't, don't, dis, don't distrust your gut. Or so I should say, trust your gut. But, but I'm, for my Aquarius, I'm going to say, don't dismiss or distrust your gut. Okay? So there might be like there's some change going on around you, but there's someone that helps you to navigate the waters. Someone that helps you to get through. It's a very kind energy. It's a very loving energy. Okay? Next card. The Ten of Water. So this is, in fact, this is like the creme de la creme. So even though it may not feel good, it may not feel, you know, like, oh, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't the way I thought it was going to be. There's this loving energy, and this Ten transitions you into a better place. Okay? The Ten of Water, Ten of Cups, is about happy family, happy love, being, being loved. Okay? So you may not necessarily feel it when it's all happening, but the people that do care for you, the people that do love you, will be there for you. It will support you during this time. But it also transitions you into that, a better place. Okay? A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So, you know, there's a... So even though we got Sneaky Snake here... There are people that love you and care for you and that really want good energies, good, good things to happen for you, okay? And you'll find it. You'll find it. Be aware of it. Open your mind to it. Open your heart to it. Okay, let's see what we else we have here now. Holy Spirit, what else would you like to say to our Aquariuses? What else is there for our Aquariuses? What else for our Aquariuses? Here we go. Okay. Mental conflict. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We have a two. This is the two of air. So your energies, again, crossroads, choices, decisions. Um, which way do I go? Partnerships. So there is a thing for, you know, there is a connection with this two and this five. And, that, and yet, at the same time, we have this beautiful, loving energy all around us. Sometimes it's hard to believe this. Sometimes it's hard to trust this. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of like seeing is believing. But yet, at the same, you know, at the same time, there is this beautiful energy all around you. So what are you going to do? What are you going to choose? Now, if this was the Two of Swords or the Two of Air, I would say basically make a decision. I'm going to tell you that this is one of those times that I would say, give it to God. Just give it to God. You don't even have to believe in a higher power. You know, you just say, hey, Debbie told me to give it to you. So you do something with it. Okay? So just, this is one of those things. Give it to God. Give it to your higher power. Give it to your spirit guides, whoever that is for you. Okay? And we'll help you. To, you know, to navigate through the waters will help you to trust and see who is there for you. So, you know, so we have a difficult decision. We have a difficult situation. 
but it does work its way in a much better, it, it works its way out much better than you even thought. But, you know, my Aquarius is you're going to want to try to think it through a little bit more, and this is not a time for you to be thinking so much. Okay? Okay. Let's go on now and do our Angels of Abundance. Angels of Abundance, what do you want to tell our Aquarians? What do you want to say to our Aquarians? Okay, we got this card, flow, uh, Flew Out, and it says, Block Out Distractions. And that could go along with this and this. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. That could be sneaky snake. You already know that what these distractions are, and you have the power to responsibly block them out. That's interesting because Libra got a stone that said something very similar to that. But let's see what your stone is now. This is Angel Gemstones. Let's see. What stone, what crystal, gemstone would be good for our Aquariuses? What would be good for our Aquariuses? Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Angel of, in of Intelligence. Hmm. Fluorite. Fluorite. Have you been unable to focus on complex tasks? You are an intelligent being. You can lovingly accomplish whatever you put your mind to. Is that where your mental conflict is? Develop your inner genius. Educate yourself in areas you feel your knowledge may be lacking. Very interesting. I'm kind of digging these cards. So let's see what the message is. Angel of Intelligence. And you might want to say this. You might want to copy this down and say this around the full moon. I am an intelligent being with the ability to focus on complex tasks and figure them out. Well, that is very much my Aquarians. I enjoy researching and learning new things. I am hungry to gain knowledge. I am smart enough to realize that I can always discover new information. All right, now, we know that with the full moon on the 29th, it's in Aries. Cool your emotions right there tells me that things are going to be a little stressful, a little tense. So let's see what other cards, and again, I'm using the new Moonology that I just got, Moonology Manifestation. What else do we have? What moon message for our Aquariuses? What moon message for our Aquariuses? Okay. Okay. Wow, kind of all fits. Last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. So what is your priority, my Aquarian? Hmm, that's an interesting one. Okay, you tell me, you know, what you thought. Um, let me know. Remember to share, no, to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me also. Always though, my Aquarians, my Aquariuses, always remember, you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.